Um, I'm Julia Evans. Um, I'm an organic farmer and I farm on the Hereford Worcester borders. I've got pedigree beef shorthorn, which are a traditional breed, and the herd I keep have been established since the mid 50s. I go to, to quite some lengths to keep my cattle healthy and productive, which they are, um, except for TB. And ever since 2002, uh, my herd keeps getting infected with TB. TB is, is discovered in cattle by testing. Um, and that is a skin test, very similar to the ones that um, our 11 and 12 year old children have. And if the cattle react to the skin test, they're then classed as reactors and they're killed. They're compulsory purchased um, by the government and killed. My test that was carried out three weeks ago, which was the uh, second of, of a series of testing that I'm going through, showed up six reactors. Four of those were heavy in calf and they were all taken away yesterday and killed. If a mother is tested positive and she's um, still rearing a calf, they'll take the mother away and I'm left with a calf to bottle feed and, um, you know, creep feed them really. Yes, I do get attached to them, yes. Yes, I, I know my cattle, they're all pedigree. Um, I know their family lines. I've got, um, as I say, the herd goes back to the 50s and, um, and I've got several generations of cattle. Well, here we've got Honey. She's my matriarch of the herd. She's about 16 now. I should think she would have had about, I don't know, 12 or 13 calves in her life. Um, and this is her daughter here, Jilly. And this is Jilly's fourth calf, I would say. The way forward is to keep testing and killing the reactor cattle, but also to humanely destroy um, infected badgers. Um, I don't have an issue sharing my farm with badgers. Their sets are um, all in woodland, so they're not damaging my pastures. But I'm afraid badgers, possibly this set here and the one um, further up, are the reason that my cattle keep getting infected with TB. Myself and my vets feel confident about this because I don't buy in any cattle. Um, we have negligible numbers of deer around here. We might have got you know, two or three munt jack. There's no cattle to cattle contact with my neighbours. So where is the disease coming from? From a business point of view, what happens is, as soon as you have reactor cattle, your business is shut down, which means you cannot sell live cattle. So I do get compensation, but it is fixed. Sometimes it's fair and sometimes it's not for us pedigree breeders, but for commercial breeders, the compensation is not enough. It, it, it is crippling for businesses. Not only to be, have your business shut down, but to be um, underpaid by the compensation. You, you cannot go out and replace animals for the compensation money that you get. It, it's serious for us cattle keepers. Um, I think it, it, it can be the straw that breaks the camel's back. This problem has to be addressed for the sake of the farming industry. In 1997, there were 3,000 reactor cattle. 10 years later, in 2007, there were 27,000 cattle um, killed. The, the disease is obviously spreading out of control. We keep testing and killing our reactor cattle, but what is the point of that when there is a reservoir of a disease in the badger population? I have reactors. Um, we then test for several months and I eventually go clear and I'll keep going. The herd are here. I so say they've been established in an awful long time. We'll keep going. We will keep going.